Hi everyone, welcome to Zainard's Info Guide on St. John's Medical College, Karnataka. Uh, St. John's Medical College, Karnataka is part of the Karnataka State Counseling. None of the seats are available under All India Counseling or any other counseling. They are part of KES NEET UG Counseling at the state level, basically the Karnataka State Counseling. All the seats, all the 150 seats are part of Karnataka State Counseling. The reason why we have taken up St. John's as a separate institute and we are running this session is because uh, St. John's seats are split in a different way compared to all other private institutes in Karnataka and even in other states. They have specific seats even for open on open merit across India. These, this is a very good institute uh, among the top institutes in India and well managed institute with absolutely good infrastructure, academics, faculty as well as hospital facilities. So we will have a quick look at the entire information. Uh, towards the end of the video, we will also look at the fee and the eligibility criteria for St. John's and the closing ranks at the end of the video. This is uh, a glimpse of the hospital. You can have more videos or uh, pictures on the uh, on uh, the internet. Basic eligibility, obviously you should be a citizen of India. You should have studied at least seven years continuously in India. This is a very different criteria compared to what Karnataka has. Uh, seven years continuously in India and including 12th, 10th and 12th. Karnataka has a slightly different criteria where you should have studied seven years in India and either 10th or 12th for class A. They have multiple other criteria too. This is a requirement for all seats of St. John's. So, uh, that is one difference uh, and should qualify NEET UG 2025 and should also be uh, qualifying as per plus 2 requirement or academic qualification requirement uh, as per NMC. The academic eligibility obviously like we know physics, chemistry, biology and English individually and 50 percentage of marks in P, uh, PCB combined uh, in the final examination for ST, ST, OBC candidates the reference is 40 percentage. Here note that ST, ST, OBC here is a, with the reference to Karnataka, Karnataka's backward class categories, only they are eligible for reservation over here. And as far as this eligibility goes, you might be eligible for St. John's. Uh, for certain categories only, this might be relevant because most of the categories close at an earlier stage itself. St. John's Karnataka eligibility and seats, uh, we will just quickly uh, run through the NEET eligibility. We know that 50th percentile for general and OBC SCST is 40 percentile. You should have been 17 years by December of this year. And seats, we will look at the 150 seats of St. John's, how they are split. This is very critical because there are seats for open candidates, there are seats for Karnataka candidates and there are also seats for Roman Catholic Christians. So, rest of the seats are for Roman Catholic Christians across different categories. First part is All India General Open Merit. These are 10 seats for which every candidate across India is eligible. This is a very very good set. If you apply for Karnataka, you get St. John's which is a very good institute Except for the fee structure, it stands tall among most of the institutes. The fee structure might come to around 8 lakhs per annum, slightly less than per annum. But it is one of the best institutes in India. As against your state private institute, which might be at a higher fee or a similar fee, St. John's might be a seat that you wish to opt if, you are, if it is affordable. This is for all candidates across India, open seats as such. Category 2 is RC2, they call it. 1, category 1, these are called RC2, RC3, etc. So, till RC8. These are purely some set which are defined by St. John's itself. They have defined these categories. Institutional staff quota, anybody who has served for 10 years or more in St. John's, their children are eligible. Currently employed or permanent employees. Their children are eligible. 10 such seats were available. Last year, you will see or every year you will see that 10 or less than 10 only are actually eligible. They have qualified NEET. So, almost every candidate gets a seat over here, but you should be an employee of St. John's. You should have been employed in permanent capacity in St. John's and you should have served at least 10 years. The next part is from RC2, RC3 to RC8 is only for Roman Catholic Christians, RC Christians. If you belong to a different uh, denomination like Christians of South India, Christians of North India, etc., then this might not be applicable for you. So, all these seats that you see, around 120 seats, are only for Roman Catholic Christians. Now, if you are a Roman Catholic Christian, that is defined by a certificate from your bishop and a baptism certificate that we will look at at a later point in time. The seats alone we will look at here. First, Roman Catholic Christian religious sisters 
seats. So basically those who are nuns, who are members of religious con con congregation in India, they are eligible. Brothers and priests might also be eligible. You can explore that. 25 such seats are available for them. St. John's is also has a lot of such MBBS passouts, doctors and PGs who are sisters or nuns or priests who run the institution as well. Roman Catholic Christian tribals, if you belong to tribal communities and you belong to RC Christian, then you are eligible for 10 seats. Roman Catholic Christians of scheduled caste origin, if you are scheduled caste origin but converted to Christianity or you are belong to Christianity now, then 10 seats are available. Native local North Indians, before we look at it, you will look at Roman Catholic Christians of Karnataka state, RC7, RC Christians domicile in Karnataka state. As per Karnataka, you come under KEA rules as a Karnataka domicile. Basically, these clauses primarily, if you come under any of these clauses, then you might be eligible for these seats if you are an RC Christian. RC8 is Roman Catholic Christians across India. Any state you belong to, you are a Roman Catholic Christian, then you have 55 seats available. This is something that not many candidates know and they miss out. So, if you are a Roman Catholic Christian, you belong to another state at around 60,000 rank. Your state gives you a seat, a private institute seat alone is available at your seat. Your rank is 60,000. Your uh, Only a private institute seat is available in your state and you have to pay around 8 lakhs, 10 lakhs, let us say. 10 lakhs. Many states have this. Because at 60,000, usually government seats are not available. You are an RC Christian you might get a seat under in one of the best institutes at the same fee range. So that is something that you need to explore. And then beyond this, you also have RC6, which is Roman Catholic, North Indian Roman Catholic locals, basically natives or local North Indians, not that you are staying in North India. I might be a person from uh, Maharashtra. I might be staying in North India, somewhere in North India, but I am a Roman Catholic Christian, not for them. It is only for those who are native of that particular state. So basically, you should not be tribal. Tribals are covered here. You should not be of scheduled caste origin. Origin. They are covered here. And you should not be migrants or descendants of migrants of Maharashtra, Gujarat. These are all, all considered North, North, North Indian states. You should not be a descendants or of Maharashtra, Gujarat, Goa, Kerala, Tamil Nadu, Karnataka, Andhra Pradesh, Telangana, Pondicherry. If you are sons or daughters of uh, these state migrants, then you, you will come only under RC8. If you don't belong to any of these states and you don't belong to scheduled tribal communities or scheduled caste and parents are also not migrants, then you have these set of 10 seats available for you. So this is complete list, the complete list of seats available. Last one is the R9, RC9 category which is Karnataka State Open Merit. This is not called RC9, this is GMP and this is open. If you look at the allotments, you will see them under GMP open. These will be RC2, RC3, etc. Who is eligible for Karnataka State Open Merit? Anybody who belongs to classes A, B, F, H, J, K, L and O. If you have applied under these and you are accepted, then you have 10 seats available. So, there is no NRA or OCA quota. What is the fee structure of uh, St. John's? St. John's has a fee structure of uh, basically 8 lakh 10,000 to be paid in the first year. And among this, these are refundable deposits and uh, admission fee. You will only have to pay the rest of the fee in the second year, which is 7,55,000. So from the second year, you will pay 7,55,000 in two installments. They will ask one installment in January and one in July. And annual fee does not include the hostel and mess fee. That is additional in any institute. So net effective, you can look at 7,55,000 per year for St. John's. This is one of the lowest private institute fees. Karnataka institutes charge 12 lakhs. Tamil Nadu institutes might charge 4.5 to 6 lakhs now. Kerala is 7.75 lakhs around. St. John's at 8 lakhs is one of the lowest fee instit private institutes across India that is available. St. John's does not have government quota which means Karnataka government candidates the only option is this RC9 category, not at the government fee, but at a higher fee. Now, fee structure of St. John's, uh, sorry, we will look at the application form process of St. John's. We have already done a demo on Karnataka application. It is available till 10th July 11 a.m. as of now. Keep looking at extensions, but try to apply. You just need to apply for Karnataka government quota. Same way, there they will ask you whether you are interested in St. John's. They will also ask you if you are Christian, 
select Christian and they will ask you whether you are a Roman Catholic. If you are a Roman Catholic, mention this. They will also ask you whether you are interested in St. John's. If so, which category are you eligible for? Be very clear about the categories. If you are not a Roman Catholic, you might come under Karnataka uh, GMP seats or Karn All India Open seats. That you can apply for. If you belong to RC, select the right category. Everybody who is RC is also eligible for RC8. But if you belong to a better category, you can select that better category. That will be helpful for you. Document verification for those who have already applied. Karnataka applications opened recently on 9th and then they, uh, sorry, uh, recently on a few days back, they extended till 10th July. But earlier itself, if you have completed your application, then 9th and 10th, they have got the document verification to be done at St. John's. You have to take all the required documents that we will explain later. Those documents need to be taken to St. John's. But if you are applying today, new application, not the old application, then they might give you time to go to St. John's. You can just check with St. John's once. Uh, there will be a document verification. But if you came to know now and you are applying under RC8 category, I am across India. I did not know that this was the... Uh, need etc then you will have to apply again uh, certificates just have a look at it it is very simple you are not going to go through everything in full categories 1 to 9 everybody has to have a 2 year social service obligation bond document after completing your MBBS in St. John's you will have to serve for 2 years in St. John's you have to give an agreement which is also a 25 lakh penalty agreement if you don't serve for 2 years you will have to pay a 25 lakhs penalty you should also have a 7 year study certificate including started 10th, 11th and 12th this continuous study certificate is also required. This is for everyone. Next, for each category, we have listed it out. For institutional staff quota, Director St. John's has to give a uh, eligibility certificate. For RC Christian sisters or uh, priests, etc., from the superior general or provincial, there is a certificate. All the formats are available in the St. John's prospectus. We will put that as part of the description. You can have a look at the description. Eligibility certificate from Director is also required. But for all Roman Catholic Christians, Primary thing is the baptism certificate. Everybody has to provide a baptism certificate attested by the bishop. Your baptism certificate will be from your uh, from your diocese, uh, the parish priest and you might have to attest it from the bishop. The bishop needs to attest it for every other category uh, from RC uh, 3 to RC uh, 4 to RC 9 as well. So you need to get this RC 8. You will have to get the baptism certificate. Other than that, for each category, you will have to get a certificate from the bishop stating that you belong to that particular category. So, if you belong to tribal, uh, you, you, you belong to Christian tribals, then certificate from the bishop saying you belong to a tribal community. Same for scheduled caste, same for native North Indian Roman, same for uh, Karnataka, Christians of Karnataka state. This you need to have a Karnataka diocese certificate, also Karnataka domicile certificate as per KE. And last, for Roman Catholic Christians, any state Christians, certificate from bishop, which is a bona fide certificate. All these formats are available. You just need to get it signed from your bishop and the baptism attested. The last one is the Karnataka straight open merit. This does not require a specific certificate except for the Karnataka domicile certificate as per KEA, which you would have already got for the purpose of your class. St. John's bond and scholarship. St. John's bond is straightforward, two year service obligation. After completing, you have to, your, uh, you have to serve in St. John's associated medical college, a, a, a associated hospital. This might be in any area of the country. They will post you. Usually, they put, give postings in uh, uh, place in hospitals where it is favorable for you, uh, either in St. John's or outside too. But uh, depends upon what is uh, available at the time of passing out. If you don't fulfill this obligation, 25 lakhs is the penalty. If, I'm, say, if I complete MBBS and say I want to move out of St. John's, you will have to pay 25 lakhs. After this, discontinuation at any point in time, uh, if you discontinue before the course commences, 10 percentage you will pay. So basically 10 percentage of the total fee will be deducted and the rest will be paid. Like 8 lakhs I have paid, 7.7 .7 or something. Then at the time of moving out, uh, let us say I go to a second round in some other institute across all India. Then you will have to pay 10 percentage of the fee, around 80,000 as discontinuation fee. But if you leave St. John's, after the course commences, you will have to pay 25 lakhs. So, be very clear about it. There are scholarships available. Uh, for if you belong to uh, within the top 2500 All India ranks and decide to choose, choose St. John's, knowing that it is a good institute and stay top 10 ranks in the class, 50 percentage tuition wa wa waiver is there and a full or partial tuition fee waivers are still there. Staff 
child fee concession is also there. So avail them. Uh, you might not get in assuming that you will get this. It might be for one candidate in each category, etc. And only in some categories. But check that. And obviously, social obligation certificate. Uh, in case you don't complete your bond, you will have to refund the scholarship. The closing ranks of St. John's. Just have a look at it. Uh, it might be surprising for some categories. All India General Open, till 11,000 it was available. And then you have, uh, it is uh, till round 2, there is some, uh, it is only 9 seats mentioned over here. We will get the 10 seat on war where there was a difference. There might have been a possibility that some candidates were, uh, there was a, a reduced allotment. Institutional quota and other quotas, you can clearly see that there were multiple categories. Here you can see that there was one GMP seat added which should have been actually in open because of the GMPH. GMPH is already uh, one added. So that is why it is 9 and uh, uh, 11 over here including these two categories. 9 plus 2 over here including these two categories. Now you can see that uh, these are the seats that were allotted and here under Karnataka open merit, uh, you have Roman Catholic Christians under All India open merit category which went on till 75,000 rank. The reason why we are specifying is there are a lot of candidates across Karnataka, uh, Kerala, Tamil Nadu etc. who belong to Roman Catholic Christians who go ahead and take seats at 7.75 lakhs at 5 lakhs, they pay 5 lakhs plus 4 lakhs plus additional fee to private institutes which are 100, 200 uh, uh, ranks below St. John's, very very average private institutes in their state without knowing that they could have got RC8 seat under St. John's, many states. So if you are an, a Roman Catholic Christian, look at the data and then have a look at how many possibilities exist for you as far as St. John's is concerned. So this is the pretty, pretty much straightforward, you can see that even at 5 lakhs, there are seats that are available under different denominations like for uh, North Indian Roman Catholic Christians etc. But the fee structure is slightly higher and there is a two year bond that is the only consideration. So hope we have been able to help you out with St. John's information. If you are a Roman Catholic Christian, there are a lot of options. If you are a All India candidate too, basically without any, you looking at open seats across India at a low fee structure. You, and you have a high rank, you might still be able to avail St. John's. Thanks a lot for watching. In case you have any queries, you can always call us back. Uh, we also have done a session on Karnataka registration demo and we will be doing a session on the Karnataka info guide as well. Have a look at that for complete Karnataka information. Thanks a lot for watching.